giant alligator breaks out of fence. Recently, there have been many incidents of giant alligators breaking through the fence and running out of the zoos in the United States and Canada. One of the alligators escaped its happening in Florida. Bill, a resident of Cocoa Beach, Florida, was walking around outside of his home when he heard some noises coming from the back of his property. He went to check out what was going on and was surprised to see a rather large gator trying to make his way through a very small opening in his fence. Bill took the video of his encounter with the aggressive gator, which for a moment appeared to be stuck in the fence before it started to showcase its power and strength to expand the opening in the fence to climb through. When we are watching the video, we may think it was quite exciting, but in fact, if someone happened to pass by the fence, that would be extremely scary. Let alone whether it bites or not, just to look at the gator's giant body, the color of his skin, and the toad-like bulge all over his body, it really scared people to death, correct? However, in foreign zoos, it seems to be very common. But I think it is so weird. Why not strengthen the fence? And why is the gap in the fence so big that the gator can just squeeze its head in? Then as long as their head goes through the gap in the fence, they can turn their body on their side and struggle. After a while, with a little force, it will break through the fence and rush out. Everyone knows that the alligator has a very strong bite force. If a tourist happened to pass by the fence, a tragedy might happen. And if it is a child who happened to be near to the gate of the fence, he or she would possibly become the day snack of the alligator. For all the gator attacking human incidents, most human attack victims are male, almost 84%. First, let's talk about what to do when meeting an alligator. If you have a close encounter with an alligator a few yards away, back away slowly. It is extremely rare for wild alligators to chase people, but they can turn up to 35 miles per hour for a short distance on land. Never make the mistake of thinking that an alligator is slow and harmless. The alligator is naturally wary of humans and will flee quickly if you get too close to it, or it may utter a very audible and compelling warning hiss. In some cases, however, Alligators may charge or attack. Second, do not bother mama gator, because it's extremely dangerous. We all know that a mother alligator is caring for her babies very much. If you see alligator babies, or if you encounter a nest, please keep a distance, because mama gator is sure to be close by. If you get close, the mother may sound a very audible and intimidating warning hiss, which is a warning signal. Gator mothers are well known to be practically fearless when defending their offspring, whether the little ones have hatched or not. A mother alligator was observed leaping John's agape to attack a helicopter as it approached the nest area to land. Also be careful near heavy vegetation in or near the water's edge. This is where an alligator likes to enjoy privacy and peace during the daylight hours. For the recently happened alligator breaks through fences in the zoo, how it happens and how to prevent. This can happen due to various factors such as the weakened or damaged fences, inadequate barriers, or the alligator's natural behavior. To prevent such incidents, zoos can take measures like reinforcing fences with stronger materials, using electric or double barriers, and conducting regular inspection to ensure their structural integrity. Additionally, implementing monitoring systems and safety protocols can help detect any breaches promptly and mitigate potential risks. That's all for today's video. Thanks for watching. See you next time.